Hi, my name's Mick Richardson. I lead Weymouth Family Church and with me is Pete, who's a member of Weymouth Family Church. And Pete has a really exciting and faith-filled story. It began for us when Pete and his wife Bev joined the church in, July, in June 2018. Um, Pete, just talk us up through what happened when you came. Yeah, I'd been diagnosed with terminal lung cancer and given a few months to live. And we'd been looking for a church when we moved back to Weymouth for about a year. As we came in, we knew straight away it was the church for us. And we were involved in prayer with the, the church uh, for me. And my oncologist found a new drug and convinced at the hand of God. And for 15 months, that kept me quite well. Unfortunately, I, the tumour started to mutate again. And I had a dose of chemo, which was dreadful. And when I went back to see her again, she found another drug. And again, I'm convinced that was the work of God and the prayer that we'd had from our church and from other churches as well. I mean, it has to be said in those first initial 15 months, that included the period when you came with us to West Point 2019, didn't it? That's right. And it, it built and strengthened my faith during that time at West Point. It was a wonderful time of prayer. Uh, and I came away from that a much stronger Christian. That's great. And so you'd had the initial bout of uh, the treatment and then that needed to be refined with a new treatment. That lasted for about a year. And then this summer, things started to uh, go wrong again, didn't they? Because the drug was beginning to have an effect on your heart. So what happened in September of this year? Well, in September, I was back in hospital again, having made the numerous trips back to hospital. And they told me that I had between two days and two weeks left to live. Um, I came out from the hospital. And that wasn't to do with the, the cancer as such. That was to do with the fact that the cancer drug had been damaging your heart. And they thought that your heart was now irre, irre, you know, irredeemably uh, damaged. That's right. And they, they've uh, told me that I only had a very limited time to live. I came home. But again, with prayer uh, and with God's will, I'm three months on here talking to you now, not needing oxygen. And I put that down to the prayer from people in our church and other churches we've been part of over the years and God's will. If it's his will for me to go, then I'm happy. If it's his will for me to stay and do his good deeds, I'm equally as happy. It's a win-win situation. Peter, this is a wonderful story. It's a shame we haven't got longer to, to explore more of it because I know that there are more things that could be said. But we just want to say thank you. Thank you for your encouragement to us as a church, your faith, this story, the fact of that God has been doing what he's been doing has been such an encouragement to us during these times of COVID. And I just want to thank you uh, and bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Amen.